What's up you guys, Steve with Magic Metal Money. Adventures of the Forgotten Realms is already upon us. You can play on MTGO and on Arena, but here's the question. Is the Mastery Pass worth it? It's 3,400 gems, not a small amount, but you get quite a bit of value, and I was surprised you actually, it pays for itself sooner than I would have thought. You don't have to get to like level 70. So let's dive into the details, see when it starts to pay for itself, when you start to get value back. And if you like what you see today, hit subscribe and join the Wolf Pack. Okay, so part of playing Arena is that you get little daily events and daily challenges to get gold and experience points, and when you turn on the Mastery Pass, you unlock this whole bottom row of prizes. So as you get experience, you can get every thousand experience points get you up a level, and you automatically get this top row, but for 3400 gems, you can unlock the bottom row of prizes. Is this worth it? In the calculation here, I'm getting just to the nitty gritty and only counting packs, gold, and gems as actual value. I'm not counting the pets or card styles or sleeves or anything like that that you get along the way. So if you consider those being valuable, then sure, that's all bonus. But I just wanna say strictly on a actual product standpoint of gold, gems, and packs, how much do you actually get? What's the value there? So a little bit of conversion. When you go to home and then you go to play and you wanna do a draft here we go so traditional draft 1500 gems is 10,000 gold so the conversion that you get that means that 500 gold is worth 75 gems and as you go along the prizes for the mastery pass you get 500 gold in certain times so that's 75 gems and then also you'll get packs and if we go to the store you can see that every pack no matter what you do is always $200 or 200 gems, so it doesn't matter how many packs you get, you don't get a bulk discount, they're 200 gems. Whether you're buying three packs or 90 packs, it's 200 gems. So that's all part of the conversion rate into gems that we can just work with a single metric and a single currency of gems when we're looking at is it worth it since we're spending gems, and then that's really the, the real currency in Arena. How many gems of value do we actually get? It's also important to note that between the weekly rewards of 250 experience points per, per win, the daily win rewards of 25 mastery point XP experience, uh, that's roughly 4,000 a week of experience that's available through those, and then through your daily challenges, right, that pop up, uh, this is gonna be roughly another 5,000 that's available per week. So you combine those together and you're looking at about 9,000 experience points that are available per week. Uh, it's a little bit less than that likely, but that's okay, we have some rounding here. So every 9,000 that you can get per week of experience points is nine levels. So it doesn't matter if you're going from level one to level two or from level 60 to level 61, it's still every 1,000 experience points gets you up a level. And so when we go back to the mastery tree here, you can see, for example, that on these first levels, okay, level three, you get a pack. So that's what we consider 200 gems, right? Same thing, and I'm not counting, you know, card styles, all that stuff that you're gonna get, mastery orbs. I'm not even counting the mythic wild cards that you get. They're not even wild cards, just the mythic cards you get. Uh, we can see 500 gold, so again, that's 75 points. So, 75 gems. So between levels one through nine, you're only getting 275 gems. Not that much considering you spent 3,400 to unlock the pass. But between levels 10 through 18, you really get a big jump. So we can see, again, we get a pack, so that's 200, another pack, that's 200, even though it's an older set, we're still counting to the same. And you get 500 uh, gold, that's 75 gems. But here's the big one, and another pack, uh, this draft token. That's essentially 1,500 gems, since it costs you 1,500 gems to do a draft. So that's gonna be a huge, huge jump. So between levels 10 and 18, you're getting 2175, bringing our total all the way up to 240, 50 gems worth of value, just from levels one through 18, which realistically should take you about two weeks, maybe two and a half, you know, you're gonna miss some days, you're not gonna get all your wins or whatever, uh, but it, realistically, it should get you uh, about two weeks, you're getting 2450 dollars worth, of, excuse me, 2450 gems. Uh, then levels 19 through 27, you're gonna see another 200 gems, that's an easy conversion. Uh, 200 gems, again, for a pack, 200 gems for a pack, 75 gems for this 500 gold, uh, 200 gems. So then you're getting another 875, and which brings your total up to 3,325. 3, so you're at 3,325, so you've almost broken even between levels 1 through 27. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and click through the rest of them, but I will just tell you that between levels 28 
and 26, 36, you're getting another 475. So then you're at 3,800. So at that point, you've started to quote unquote make a profit and you're getting more than your 3,400 gems worth of value. Again, plus all the extra mythic reward cards and pets and card styles and things like that that we're not including in this calculation. Between levels 37 and 45, you're getting 875, and so that's bringing our total all the way up to 4675. Between 46 and 54, you're getting another 875, so that brings it to 5550. Between levels 55 and 63, you're getting another 600, bringing our total to 6150. So at that point, you really made you know almost 3,000 gems if you've gone all the way to level 63. And again, assuming 9,000 experience points per week, that should take you about seven weeks. Level 64 through 72 get you another 550, bringing your total to 7,700. And then level 73 to 79 gets you all the way up to another, only another 400. And that puts your total at 7,100. So you are more than doubling the value. If you can get all the way up to like level 80, I guess level 78 really. And then every single level after that, you're, you're gonna get another mythic reward card, which realistically there's not a whole lot of time left in the season before the new set comes out and this mastery pass will expire. But you can get all the way up to 7,100 gems if you're only counting packs, gold, and gems. So you can double that 3,400 gem that you spend on unlocking the mastery pass. I almost clicked it. I almost unlocked the pass. I don't even know if it would have let me undo it or not. So I don't know if you confirm or if you just by clicking that button you do it. So good thing I didn't click that. Anyway, well, you do have about nine weeks to accomplish this uh, because Min Innistrad Midnight Hunt comes out on September 24th. So assuming that it comes out two weeks earlier than that on Arena, that's going to be September 9th. It's going to be nine weeks. Or if it comes out on the 16th, that'll be 10 weeks. So you're looking at nine or 10 weeks. So realistically, if you're getting 9,000 experience points per week and you're, you know, you're playing a lot of arena, you're playing mostly every day or you know, four or five days a week and you're getting all your rewards and everything and all your dailies, you really can rack up the value pretty quickly. And it really just takes you those first three weeks to get close to getting back to even. At four weeks, you start to turn a profit. And uh, then if you start cranking out some more value there, you really can turn a lot, especially between levels 37 and 54. Uh, that goes up like seven, seven, 1,700 gems. That's a big, big jump. So all the way up, if you get up to level 50, around level 50, you've really made it worth it and you didn't have to stress and be like, oh, I barely squeaked out value. Plus you get all the extra card styles and everything. So overall, if you think you're gonna get to level 50, you can go ahead and do that. Or if you don't wanna risk it, you can just wait because these are all retroactive, all the prizes. So let's say you are don't have the mastery pass unlocked and you get all the way up to like level 54 here. Uh, just on the regular experience path, then at that point you're like, hey, level 54, that's gonna be 550 gems worth of values of packs and gold and gems. You can just unlock the pass and you'll just get all the rewards right away, which is kind of fun because your screen is full of rewards you know, for a long time. So that's something you can do to kind of hedge to say, hey, you're not losing out on value if you wait to buy it. So then you don't have to stress about, are you gonna break even? So just know if you get to level 27 and level 30, 36, at that point, you can just buy the pass. If you know there's still plenty of time between now and you know Midnight Hunt coming out in September, you can just crank out the value and start getting a lot more in those rewards. Hope this was valuable for you. There's a good chance I'm gonna unlock the pass, but again, I'm gonna wait a few weeks. I'm gonna make sure that I actually get up into the levels 36, 30, you know, 40, 50 to make sure that it's, it's worth it for me to unlock this thing. Uh, subscribe and we'll see you next time.